Hello and welcome back to Boring Dead Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Rogue Trader. We are on a new planet. We have uh, been told that there's some sort of weird shadow creatures that are preying on the local populace. So we're going to go in and speak to um, sort of the leader of the colony, someone who I think is, is one of Heinrichs's uh, spies or informants or something, who apparently Intriguing. knows a bit more about what's going on. Let's go and check it out. A chill, where's it come from? The creatures, they're coming! Weapons ready and God Emperor preserve us! Are we gonna help fight them? Here we go. We've been ambushed, just gotta start. Oh, mandrakes, okay. These are kind of the beings that um, have it in for Marazai. Wow, they're just gonna burn these guys alive. Well, no, they're gonna burn them, then stab them, in fairness, so. How many have we got? We've got nine. Okay. Well, talking of Marazai, God, they're, they're pretty tanky guys, aren't they? Uh. I'm confused about why he's lost his bleed ability. That feels like that's a bit of a bug. Slow and painful is the way. Um, which is a shame, as we tied a certain amount of stuff to it. <sighs> Let's try this. Oh, carried it. Grace and malice. Hmm. Behold. Ooh, 96 on the uh, attack of opportunity. That's not bad. What a useless now he's dead. <laughs> I hope we don't have to save some of these guys because they're uh, they're going down like dominoes. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much all dead now. I won't go down easy. Damn. Okay, well. Oh, it's Argento. I thought it was me for a start. Uh, well, with Argento. Maybe come here and fire into these two. So I will go concentrated fire. I'll do it. <laughs> Faith Rapid without fire. deeds is worthless. Doubt is for fire. the weak. Uh, we're going to take Power our in the will special of the as well. As the Emperor there you go. Why can't I use this? Oh, we'll, we'll use the we'll use the flamer. It's not a problem. Okay, because it'll like you were going to do about. I'll do it. Half damage to this guy. Or, da you know, taking down to 50% health. And that didn't do any damage, so... That's a little annoying, I'm not going to lie. Right now it's me. So with me, I was thinking of coming down here and... Uh, kind of firing into this group. So the seeds of discord. I can give someone else their special right away. Who, who would I want to do that on? He's got a good special. Hmm... Could be maybe Abelard. I can't remember what Pascal's is. I can't remember what Heinrich's Purpose is. But Abelard me. gets all his uh, AP and stuff immediately, doesn't he? Now why? 
Follow my lead. Them last time with the earlier, and like I gave them that ability, and then nothing happened. So that's confusing. No, okay, I'm not a grenadier. I'm a grenadier in my other game. I need to keep, keep remembering that, not this one. Um, all right, well, let's pop some of that on. This is weird. No, I don't think that's working. It feels like it's broken in some way. Tribute. Yeah, we'll chuck in another one. Okay, yeah, well let's give let's give a proper extra turn Destiny. to Abelard. Reshaped. Who can come down here and whack this one? Is that a square he can stand on? It. it why? Why can't he act? Oh, he's... I, it's, I can't see anything on him that would mean that he couldn't act. That's not the Seneschal's job. He just says unavailable. Oh, God, I don't... I don't know what's going on right now. No, I can't act. I was going to do another attack. What is going I don't know Vengeance what is going on. Swift. I'm filming these sort of before the big patch. I'm starting to wonder now whether I should Naturally. wait until it comes out because it's feeling like some stuff is just not working properly right now. The Emperor is on our side for the throne's glory. I won't object to it. Let's see to it. Oof. Yeah, I'm a little bit bugged. <laughs> I'm a little bit bugged by that stuff not working. Um. It never feels good when it feels like you're fighting the game to get stuff to work. And that's been a little bit how this is. Okay, well that was a pretty good shot. There's a couple of people on... Oh no, well one of them's Heinrichs. And me again. Oh wow, we've got two of them. I'm not even going to bother with that now. We could, some, we could get people to make a single attack against one of them, maybe. What if, why did we pick this one? Whispers, guide my <laughs> Well, that went pretty well. That went pretty well. Uh, kind of want to just get there. If I give two, well, let's uh, let's do I this. I will triumph. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? Extra actions to Pascal, maybe, because he can shoot. Just... Oh yeah! Oh wow! Nice. Cool. Um, not much that maybe makes sense for him to do now. Uh, likewise, I mean, I'll come over, but there doesn't seem to be a lot I can do there. So, Marazai, why don't you come in and attack? I will herd the prey. With grace, a euphoria of oh, Why didn't they die? I'm done oh, with you. <laughs> okay. I'm, so I'm not sure exactly what was going on with some of the special stuff there, but uh, we got through it. Well, axes, that's cargo. I don't want those. Probably not that either, that flak armour. And what are all these? Sharpened venom blades. 
Uh, tell you what, we'll... Oh, and shotguns, that could be cargo. And I don't know why these have all been listed not as cargo anymore. But I'm going to list these as cargo. We'll flip them all over there, but I'm just going to keep one and compare it to what Marazai is using. Hmm. Yeah, it feels a little bit unpolished just at the moment, like there's some... a little bit of stuff going on. Or not happening properly. Anyway, what's he got? He's already using one. And the Gin Blade of Euremaris. Yeah, which we want to keep, even though it does less basic damage, we want to keep that. I don't know why the, none of the, these haven't stacked up either. Yeah, I can see why people start to get a little bit annoyed with once you move past uh, Act 3 into Act 4. And I think after I film this episode, I think I will wait for the big February update to happen uh, before continuing. This stuff's going to start getting a little bit twitchy. Uh, no, uh, that's fine. Collect, leave. We've got a passage we can get through to. Why don't we do that now? <laughs> Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Oh. A Vox liturgy twisted by warp sorcery. Okay. We should deal with this. The altar would be unremarkable if not for the uncanny sound streaming from its built-in speakers. What was once a Vox recording of a liturgical service is now a malevol malevolent parody of the noble faith. Uh, but there are some goods here we can take. What have we got? A Malefic Tome. Well, we don't have any heretical stuff going on, so we'll stick that straight to cargo. I tread a path unexplored. Definitely some creepy stuff going on in round here anyway. Don't have a huge lore warp knowledge. Failure stings. Uh, we failed. Strange debris is scattered across the table's surface. All of it, the broken pieces of pottery, the inscribed tablets, the blades with fanciful designs, is clearly the work of primitive craftspeople. But we also have a safe we can crack. Swift Shroud Cloak. Whenever the wearer is targeted by an attack of opportunity, they gain a stack of the Swift Shroud effect. Uh, okay. The wearer gains... MP every time they do. Uh, it's very uh, situational, that seems, isn't it? Taunting scream targets don't need to fail the willpower resistance test. Maybe. I don't think Avalard has that here, does he? I gave it to him in my other playthrough. It's actually quite nice to be able to taunt enemies, but I don't have that capability here. The conveyor belt littered with a mixture of stone chippings and fragments of human-made items. The rust on the mechanical components indicates that this machine has stood idle for a very long time. This pa the powerful smell of Prometheum lingers in the air around the burning device, a uh, mechanism. The machines were doused with the accelerant and set alight. Well, there's Emelina, so let's go to her last. Let's finish having a little look around the rest of the place. Boxes stuffed full of shards of pottery, metal, and other discarded human-made objects covered in a layer of soil. Trembles beneath I'm not sure what's happening feet. here. It's, it's obviously a mine of some kind. I don't, I don't know what they're mining. Uh, okay, I'll take all that stuff. Primitive excavating equipment suitable for use by unskilled workers. Do I need to point it out for you? Uh, what did we find? Ah, what's this? It's a grimy handwritten notebook. The tattered, note the tattered notebook is missing part of its cover and half its pages. The surviving sheets are covered with cramped lines of text that slope downward, written in an erratic hand. I still can't believe he's gone. Every time I'm at my post, I start peering into the darkness, and I think I see his shape in the gloom. Could the creatures have got into my head? beckoning me toward them so they can drag me off like they did Gandir. 
Lady Emelina says that these creatures, Mantrax, Druy, can't get inside people's heads. We all listen to Lady Emelina, of course, but I'm not so sure she's right about this. How else can I explain what happens every time I close my eyes? I see runes burning in the dark, the same runes that Creature was covered in. Is it a hallucination, or someone getting inside my head? Heresy. Heresy outside, heresy inside. I hear laughter in the sermons we listen to in the chapel. But how is that possible? You're not supposed to laugh when you're at prayer, are you? No, laughing is bad. Praying more, that's good. Praying harder. Praying for the peace of Gandhi's soul and for ours, too. Oh, I'll take that. Don't know who Gandhi is, but got a better background from that. The well goes so deep you cannot see the bottom. The walls of the shaft reveal the marks of the machinery that drilled through the rock, as well as fragments of an ancient city. An ancient city, sunken city. An ancient sunken city is probably what they meant to say. I'm just trying to get to a position where we can see that a bit ourselves. We can just see stuff going down. All right. Embrace Let's true go up and talk power. to Emelina then, I guess. We just spot something. Emelina, the stooped figure, draws back the hood of the grimy robe, revealing the emaciated face of a woman. Her skin is stretched taut over her skull and sickeningly, sickeningly protruding augmentations, and her cheek is marred with several open wounds. She looks at you with a feverish gleam in her eyes. Hmm, their visual description matches interrogator Van Kalox. The sage blinks several times and her head twitches. You made it here after all. Marizai sneers. So this is the burnt pet's owner. Perhaps we should inform her about the fate of her prized follower. Heinrichs' usual mask of stoicism has melted away without a trace. He stares around him in an undisguised dismay. Emelina, what, what is this? You're performing the arch enemy's rituals? But no, stop. Right now, unless... Not another move unless I tell you. The sage draws herself upright, as far as her crooked spine will allow, and flicks several switches on her facial augmentations. Then she turns to you, ignoring Heinrichs's words completely. What have you brought with you, Interrogator Von Kallox? Clearance level? Dahlia Von Brinicus Von Valencius, rogue trader and the God Emperor's anointed. She dips her head. Von Valencius, a rogue trader dynasty. Territory to the galactic west of Furibundus. The head of the dynasty, Theodora von Valencius, has been flagged for heretical sentiments. Threat level? Heinrich glances at the room, gestures at the room. I brought the help you requested in your message, Emelina. A void ship under the aegis of the rogue trader. I dragged thousands of people and megatons of plasteel and ceramite through the bowels of the warp. And for what? To discover that you've sold yourself to the archenemy? Emelina shakes her head. You are drawing conclusions based on incomplete knowledge of the situation, Interrogator Van Kalox. Your judgment is impaired. Heinrichs, why is Emelina addressing you in this strange manner? I expect that Emelina has chosen to seal the memory block containing data of a personal nature. She does this whenever she is concerned that someone might try to extract inf information about Galcazar's coterie from her. Heinrich thinks for a moment, and then in a clear voice says, Sigma Prosperity. He pauses before repeating the strange phrase. The reminiscence block you're attempting to access was repurposed. It now contains knowledge of the rituals performed by the shamans of this place. My standard working memory alone was insufficient to record all the nuances I'd uncovered in my research here. Heinrich looks as though he's been punched in the gut. Emelina, you... You deleted the data about all the members of Kalkazar's unit? You wiped us all? Of course not. I retained the portion of the Re Reminiscence Block's data relating to the operational significance of the Lord Inquisitor's unit. That is how I was able to recognize you, Interrogator Van Kalox. Heinrich's expression scarcely wavers at Emelina's words, but despite this, Marizai ducks his head sharply and watches the interrogator with devouring eyes. Hmm, fear and despair and sorrow. Hmm, an exquisite palate, monkey. 
Dahlia von Berenicus. Heinrichs bites out the words through clenched teeth. Silence your pet Zeno scum. Or I will. What has happened on Phton 4? I came here on the supreme directive of the Lord Inquisitor. An Adeptus Historica mission was established on Phton 4 to study the origins of the civilization that once inhabited the planet. This world was once settled by humans. The mission aimed to discover which colony ship they came from and why they disappeared. The traces of the ancient culture uncovered in the layers of soil suggested the existence of primitive solar faiths among the dark inhabitants of this world. Faiths that are strikingly similar to worship of the archenemy. Surviving scrolls indicate that shamans used the gifts of chaos to protect their people, to secure the harvest, to imbue their warriors with strength and vitality, and that this culture persisted for thousands of years. I was cataloging data when the attacks began at one of the remote outposts. I immediately recognized the enemy by their tactics. Drukari. They chose an unremarkable defenseless world where night lasts half the year. By the time five outposts had been swallowed by the darkness, the last astropath had been torn to pieces, and many calls for help sent to Kalkazar's unit had gone unanswered. I realized that no one was going to save these people, or this knowledge. And so I put the knowledge to use for the good of humanity. Heinrichs makes sense out of this for me. Am I going mad or is your colleague engaging in flagrant heresy here? The notion of heresy is hardly applicable to people in our line of work, Dahlia von Brunicus. But you are correct about one thing. Emelina has crossed the line that separates a servant of the Imperium from a deluded chaos worshipper. I'm sorry I asked. But what are you trying to achieve here, Emelina? The ritual we interrupted. What is it supposed to do? Emelina lifts her gaze upward. It will rid this world of its half-year-long night, and the mandrakes of their total advantage over us. It will force a new heavenly body, this one of human making, to rise above the horizon and illuminate the dark side of the planet. If the ritual works, I will have mastered the secret of forging a new sun. This is madness. Madness, pride, and monstrous, staggering heresy. Heinrichs' voice is barely audible, as if his throat is closed up in shock. Abelard's eyes widen in astonishment. Create a star? God Emperor's grace, what creatures could live in the light, a star born using... What creatures could live in the light? What creatures could live in the light, a star born... I don't really get... What creatures could live in the light of a star born using the powers of the archenemy? I think it's missing a word. Do you mean to say that you discovered a ritual for creating a sun here? Buried under silica and granite are knowledge and resources that could repel the enemies of humanity. We are too afraid of anything labelled prohibited. My memory contains thousands, thousands upon thousands of pages from manuscripts, tomes and scrolls. Contact with any one of these is supposed to guarantee instant death. But the preachers who claim this are liars. I am living proof of their falsehoods. What happened to the people of this world? All of the survivors are here in this tunnel. The rest are dead, or worse than dead. They are in the clutches of the monsters from Komora. Our last astropath died when his mind was invaded by a warp entity. It used his side trail to hunt him down. The rest of the people here have been blessed with the protection of those forces that I summoned to our aid. That is enough. Heinrichs's voice shakes with bridled fury. I have heard all the justifications and complaints a hundred times before. No purpose can justify what you have wrought here. Who you have become. Who have I become, interrogator Van Kallox? I am what any agent of the Golden Throne is predestined to become if they are able to see through to the essence of things. I have, as the Puritans say, succumbed to the heresy of radicalization. Moreover, in doing so, I am only following in the footsteps of our mentor. The only difference is that I have chosen the path of the Oblationists, while he chose the Xenos Hybris, forging an alliance with the cursed Drakari. What unthinkable accus ac accusations! The Lord Inquisitor, in league with the enemies of humanity? Emelina, suppress your urge to debate internal matters in the presence of the rogue trader. Additionally, I will not tolerate insults to the Lord Inquisitor in my presence. 
Xenos, Hybris, Oblationists. I have no idea what these things are. They are the names given to f philosophical ideologies practiced by agents of the Golden Throne. They have nothing to do with the current sit. Actions are being driven by this philosophy, interrogator Van Kallox. My, yours, the Lord Inquisitors. Why are you avoiding talking about the fact that Xavier Calcazar is a dangerous radical? No less dangerous than I am, except I am not driven by utopian ideals, but by a desire to protect humanity, using a broader range of tools. What you call a broader range of tools is heresy, Emelina. Unremarkable, commonplace heresy. Heresy that has taken on a twisted form and a mind subjected to prolonged contact with corruption. The archenemy has been gnawing at you from within, creating a star with a chaos ritual. You have crossed the line. No, you have obliterated the line. The line? Lines are for the weak and ignorant. Anyone capable of weighing the risks and making calculated decisions would have done the same as me. To protect the Imperium's domain, to deliver a preemptive strike even. Von Valancius. Emily, Emelina whips around to you. You are a simple mortal endowed with huge power and privilege, ruling over worlds and holding millions of lives in the palm of your hand. Tell me, would you have done the same in my position? No, I would not have made the same mistake. Blinkered vision and a narrow mind. A warrant of trade in the hands of such a person is a dangerous prospect indeed. Emma shakes Emelina, sorry, shakes her head spitefully, her eyes filling with blood. The only one to answer my call, and you turn out to be a brainwashed pawn. I did not factor in the possibility of psychological dependence. Calcazar can be persuasive, especially to those who depend on him. A favored sorcerer, a Casbalican renegade. Oh yes, interrogator Van Calox. Xavier Calcazar's stalwart little soldier. You will die, just like Tanakia. Emelina, I own a Lichtenheart. Heinrichs begins, stiffly formal before breaking off. Tanakia? What do you know about Tanakia? Emelina shakes her head. You don't even know what fate befell her, do you? I suppose it won't hurt for you to know something of it. A strange sound causes the sage to fall silent. She turns towards the tunnel. The lights are going out. They're coming out of the shadows. I think that said it went pretty quick. A couple mandrakes. The beasts are here. The ritual must be completed. The preparations must not go to where. We need to block all possible approaches. Light. We need light to dispel the shadows in the corners. Your kind has no place in the galaxy. Okay, what do we got? We got six of them this time. Uh... So we got one, one, two there. I'm guessing they're gonna keep coming if we need to whack on some lights. So we got four down here. Okay, have we got any, where are our nearest lights? Uh, well, we could come, make sure we come down here perhaps. Uh, let's send our Genta down here. And... The Scal can go with her. Uh, down this slope, the bulk of the fighting, I'm going to send Marazai, uh, Heinrichs, and Abelard. And I'll head off down this way. Now, yeah, gentle, we need to work on these two. Um, so, yeah, we'll do rapid Faith fire, concentrated worse. fire, take some wildfire. <sighs> Fire into these As two. The Emperor commands. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Yeah, that did alright. Just a minor setback. Oh, they're coming up there, are they? No, he's coming this way. Yeah, well, it is Marazai. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll put this on. Right, let's go through him to the other side. 
Uh, which is our really good sword? This one. So let's whack him with that. Let's go low profile. Try to avoid being targeted. Uh, Pascal, when you come down and uh, turn on the lamp. What else have we got? Is that another one over there? Let's head that way. Rush. Pain and duty go hand in hand. I kind of want to use Abelard's double uh, shotgun. So what's this thing again? So this is his sort of face. Uh, costs 50 momentum. Can only be used when momentum is 175 or higher. Uh, sword is a single target attack. An area. Okay. okay let's uh, yeah, let's come down and uh, use it. Now. Get me a target. Oh, I forgot about him. Uh, all right. Let's put this on. Naturally. Let's see to it. I feel like that's not working too well because of the elevation. Can I? It's only got 34%. Oh, I might run in on this guy. Might be why if they're dodging. Holy terror! Smite your enemies! I'm coming this way so I can actually reach the uh, lamp Brother here. Can conquer. It's done. I don't think there's anything in there. So there's another one. Over that way, isn't there? Descend upon the weak. Uh, can I? I wonder if I can reach them from here. I actually, can. I mean, there's a good chance of hitting uh, Van Kalox, but uh, sure, give it a go. Mostly avoided doing serious damage to <laughs> to him. Okay, look, what are we? Yeah, let's immediately put everyone on, on fire, on a little bit more fire. Yeah, well, Ablard's got this one here. I guess we should probably hit this one. Maybe we shouldn't do explosive rounds so close Victory to us both. Is imminent. Uh, it will be done. Son of a. Oh. Oh, an exemplary strike. I took care of this one. Oh, now he's gone. Let's take um, let's call his AP and MP back. Uh, yeah, we need a better position, don't we? My place is at the fall. Let's do a reckless strike. Indeed. It will be done. I will do my duty. Reduce to dust. 
Uh, okay, I didn't realise Avalar's turn was over, but okay. Chaos, I stride. What's this do? Ruin beckons. Wham. What a satisfying demise. Well, there's one left. Where, 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 where's the one that's left? Oh, he's there. Uh, okay, we'll try this again. Now, as I wish your ultimate, I've forgotten. It's more like it. Yeah, destroy stuff. It's not supposed to turn momentum down there, so that's not working properly. I yearn for agony. It is handled. Let's go reckless. Sworn enemy. Oh, 137, nice. Hit him again. There he goes. Uh, we can actually get to this lamp. of enemies and all the lamps I could see are on so in turn my turn now apparently what am I missing lamp is there anything up here I don't think so uh okay have a lot Have a look in here. I don't Try think there is anything. Tactics are the best ones. Not like it. Ah, there we go. Emelina lets out an agonised groan. Wasted all my work, all my preparation for nothing. Emelina, I own a Lichtentart. In the name of the Inquisition, you are hereby removed from your post and expelled from the Holy Order. Heinrichs's eyes are fixed on Emelina, but she doesn't look at him. Then the interrogator turns his gaze on you. The fate of its fallen members is a matter for the Ordo. Heretical archives, artifacts obtained in the excavation, and other assets in Lichtenhardt's possession are hereby declared the property of the Holy Inquisition. However, it is for the rogue trader to decide what becomes of Ton IV and his people. What is your verdict? What would you advise? This world has been compromised. Any attempt to assess the degree of corruption will be necessarily will necessarily be based on weak judgment, vulnerable to doubt and sentiment. I would get rid of the planet and its population. What will happen to the Archives and Emelina? The Archives will be destroyed to prevent the situation from ever reoccurring. Emelina, it's my responsibility. Hmm. Oh, let's take them. So be it, Lord Captain. And now, now for as, as for Emelina, you are hereby stripped of your special status as an agent of the Golden Throne and all attendant rights and privileges. I am authorized to use all interrogation measures stipulated in the standard framework for information extraction to ascertain the fate of Acolyte Nakia Calbergaria. Will that be necessary, Emelina? No, Interrogator Van Kalox. The sage's voice is scarcely louder than a whisper. I have no intention of concealing that information from you. I am almost certain that Tanakia Calbagaria was eliminated on the orders of Xavier Calcazar after being deemed a volatile element. Heinrichs's face is a mask of disbelief and anger. You're lying. Uh, let's listen in silence. I saw one of Calcazar's documents when I went to receive my new orders. Only a fleeting glimpse, but with my memory like a picked recorder, it was enough for its contents to be imprinted on my mind. I do not know the details, but the document itself was an interrogation transcript, with a final annotation indicating that the removal of the person from the retinue. And we both know how someone leaves the Lord Inquisitor's, Inquisitor's retinue, interrogator Van Kalox. Tanakia is the Lord Inquisitor's top espionage specialist. 
Whatever Xavier chose to refrain from making a public show of strength, or wherever, Calvagari was invaluable. Why would he do this? Emelina looks up at Heinrichs, her eyes full of despair. I do not know, interrogator Van Kallox. Just as I do not know why the Lord Inquisitor sent me to this nondescript planet as soon as I voiced my concerns about his methods. Just as I do not know if I should blame the warp for the lack of responses to my calls for help, or if Calcazar prohibited the others from answering. The nature of her mission and of Xavier's true purpose here in the Expanse was likely why he chose to bury this secret, and Tanakia along with it, she breaks off. The operational data indicates that you are the retinue's primary torture specialist, interrogator Van Kallox. All this time, I thought you were the one who conducted Tanakia's interrogation. And one of the reasons why I destroyed my personal data block was to ensure that my own sentiments would not prevent me from thinking rationally when I next encountered you or Kalkazar's other servants. Heinrichs? Heinrichs says nothing for several seconds, staring into space. At last, he begins to speak. Emelina, Iona Lichtenhart. Emelina sighs. I know, interrogator Van Kallox. I know all the procedures used on compromised sages. Interrogation, unsealing of reminiscence blocks. But before we begin... She stands up, straightening her spine as much as she can and looks into the interrogator's eyes with a weak smile. I thought Tanakia was your doing, but your reaction has revealed the truth to me. Heinrichs. It is Heinrichs, yes? There is a subtle shift in Emelina's voice. She sounds older, wiser. You should know. I am sorry to have forgotten you. Heinrich stares at the sage, saying nothing, then looks down and mutters something too quietly for you to hear. He turns to you. Thanks for your assistance in solving my problem, rogue trader. But why? Heinrichs looks at you, his, dark, his eyes dark and lowering. Why don't you answer the question for yourself? You did not want her to be subjected to your standard procedures at yours or anyone else's hands. You really think my actions are driven by such sentiment? Heinrich studies you intently. His face is difficult to read, but one of his eyes spasms briefly just before he turns away. We are finished here. The planet will be designated unfit for further use. The risks are simply too great. It will take a few hours to deal with the excavation site and what the diggers found there, but it will not delay us. When we return to the ship, find her a minute to speak with me. All right. Well, let's uh, let's pick up our loot. See, all this stuff I've definitely designated as cargo before. Now, why those have all got reset? down here? Where have we got it all? I got it all. Oh. Guess we're leaving the servitors. Oh, we've got this stuff. Alright, well, let's head back up. There's a section of the map I haven't got to yet, so we might be able to find a way to that. Can we get down here? Like a whole part of the map we haven't got to yet, so... I guess we'll look for any sort of athletics checks or anything, perhaps? Didn't see anything before. Powers unseen uncover my path. Over here, isn't it? Uh... How do you go over there then? Intriguing. It looks like you should be able to get across there, doesn't it? I go back here. Must be missing something. There's nothing there, is there? The world will bow. 
It could, I mean, it could be another um, high-level awareness test that I'm just not reaching the threshold of. But I'm going to Google it because it's annoying me a little bit. Well, I couldn't find anything online about it at all. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe you come back here later and all this stuff's been cleared and you can just go down and get it. But, uh... Yeah, it seems pretty clear to me that we can't get down there right now, at least. And what is there? One... One load of goods that we can see at least. Let's seize the opportunity. This is literally as close as we can get. There's no checks. I suspect I probably won't be coming back here later on the off chance. I'm sure I'll forget about it. But uh... yep, that's about it, isn't it? Let's have a quick look at stuff. Now we're looking. So this, what cloaks he got? They gain 10 weapon skill and 15 critical damage. That's actually pretty nice. So I was thinking of this... Uh, where's that other cloak we just found? Did I already... I might have already sent it to cargo. Or is it down here? It's down here. Whenever he's targeted by an attack of opportunity, he gains a stack of the swift shout effect. And oh, he doesn't have a... He doesn't have a psi rating. Two plus times agility bonus. Which is eight to be fair, so that's sixteen. Percent dodge against this attack. Also well this dodge is already 152. Also he gains agility bonus plus psi rating divided to well, call that four movement points every time he's targeted. And the wearer expends all this which has to grant all allies dodge until his next turn. I mean it could be good. But then he's he's got ten weapon skill. Plus 15% crit damage. That is good too. I mean, I... I don't know. I, I don't know. Because he can get targeted by a lot of opportunity attacks using his, uh, his special ability. What's that Xenos thing? Coercion and Xenos. Which are two things he does do. How does that stack up with what he's actually got at the moment? 20 corrals and whenever he uses a medikit and the first time it costs 0 AP well you know what I'm going to I'm going to put that on instead boost up his xenos and coercion skills oh, yeah, it did boost it up didn't think it did but it did okay uh that movement point so doesn't it now I'm gonna try it let's give it a go we'll see how it works out on him could be good I might not be in which case we'll go back to the other one. Oh god <laughs> I'm really starting to notice that it feels like it's creaking at the seams at this point the game on the plus side though I did just see a fix for the hot bar issue Marazai if we go into his character His hotbar thing, so he should... Is it this? Oh, I said we could just drag it. How do I drag it? How about if I do... I reject the very idea. Maybe they have to be in the party, but that's not working, is it? So I said drag it down to the hot bar, but have I locked the hot bar somehow? Unless it's here. Oh no, it hasn't got the hot bar. Well, we'll try the next time we're on mission, assuming it doesn't reappear. Oof, okay, this game, yeah. Definitely, definitely looking forward to that big patch. That I mean, they say it's going to fix a load of stuff, so we'll look forward to that. 
I think it, I feel like it does need it. Ravo here on the Vox Line, Lord Captain. Good thing we're getting out of here. We're already getting the reports from the lower decks. Singing coming through the bulkheads, people going insane and the like. Uh, just one last thing. What's to be done with the planet? Destroy the place where we... Okay, well, we aren't coming back here before then. Uh, no, coming back here again. Destroy the place where we landed. Collapse the mine and wall up the source of the tainted knowledge forever. There we go. Right. Oh, we've got a bit of repairs to do. We'll do those. Um, let's head out. Do I want to go back and do a bit of... Trading. Soonish. Um, bum, 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 bum. just thinking, thinking, thinking. We need to go to Dargonus. We know that much to deal with stuff there. What else is in my to-do list? I feel like this Lord Inquisitor, I feel like it's going to sort of rush us into the next act, so I'm not going to do that just yet. Wait for Nomos, visit Dargonus, talk to Heinrichs on the bridge. We can do that. I don't know where these guys are. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, the Ocelio thing. What are we doing on the old rumours front at the moment? I mean, there's a lot here, isn't there? I don't know. I think we may have done a lot of these. We've been to every system now. Need to go to Dargonus as well to solve a colony thing. So next out, I'll tell you, I'm going to make this, uh, let's make this orange. We'll just use one of our insights. Uh, okay. Another battle. Um... Sorry, Heinrich. So I'm going to take Elliot back. So this was fairly easy last time, wasn't it? Corrupted servitors. Okay, let's head up to the overcharge one and give him a good whack in the face. Oh, what's that? Oh, a turret. Ooh. All right. Um, what should we hit him with? Let's do a. Let's do an Stake earlier your sniper shot. If I must. Your existence is not but Bad. ashes. More turrets and stuff. Okay. There's a fair bit going on. Alright, though, uh, Argenta's first. I think she's just going to mow them down. Uh, then we got Pascal. So we could maybe give him a bit of a sniper's position. Actually, it's probably better there. Um, the melee guys, we'll just push them up as far as we can. Uh, Elliot. Again, a little sniper position would be good. And then there's me. Just chill here. So Argento, if she comes to like here. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. So we're gonna rapid well fire, we're going to Dirt wildfire. We're going to uh, concentrated Faith without deeds is spread. That is not the Emperor's will. This lot. I'll do it. Yeah, I mean that's not bad. So Pascal now, what have these guys got? They aren't got that much going on. Can I target them? I oh, I can target them there. That's not bad. Uh, we just need to buff up the attack a little. Take cover. Uh, what should we do? At least one of these on. My vow is to serve. Running by Neric override. Alright. 
Let's go ahead and do it at this then. So, a little area of attack on these two. Pretty good. It's a shame to waste a lot of stuff on this guy. Uh, if anyone else slightly more worthwhile, not really. Maybe we just ignite him. I need no. It didn't do any damage. I feel like it does damage and then people are healing themselves and I don't quite understand why. Uh, maybe I will triumph. Burn a bit more though. Um, whose extra attack could we get? One step art. closer. It's working any better now? Ah, oh, okay. Maybe you need to hover over here. I'm sure before it was just showing, but... All right, we'll the Daring Breach. The it isn't... It, it specifically says it doesn't reduce momentum, so it's definitely not working as intended. Uh, I want to bring him here, though. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. one enemy. Uh, let's open up a it will weak point. Done. Victory is imminent. I'm going to do an area attack this time. It will be done. One to a target. Blam. Why are we rotating? Yeah, it's good though. Um... Ooh, I can get in a, a freebie with the shotgun. What about on this At one? Yeah. Okay, not not bad, Nebelard. Not bad at all. Oh, it's me again now. Uh, well, I guess I come over here and lob a firestorm down at them. Let's put, uh, let's put this I on will too. triumph. I'll do this too. I'm a momentum. When do you set that? Though? Yeah, though. All right, let's do this. Purpose oh. death shall reign. Yeah, see, that, that did proper damage. Oh, it's my go again. I think this time I might... I think I'm sort of there. I will triumph. What a satisfying oh. demise. That was rubbish. Um, okay. Not on fire. Have a lot, though. You can have a turn if you like. Closer. Shotguns, uh, rubbish. Let's not take all that to do a shotgun. Oh, we could throw, throw a grenade though, couldn't we? Got loads of them. Indeed. Mm. Oh. I think I should have done more damage. <laughs> Moving to cover, I suppose. Uh, 
Mind you, I'm marked, I'm marked. I need no guidance. Well, wow, Marisol, you got a bit of ground to make up, son. I'll do that, though. We'll uh, take the reset. Here, I think we'll charge in. A perfect killing strike. We'll tuck in here so he doesn't get targeted. Is the way. Now, since there's three left, is there another one? Oh, the blimmin' Tara. I totally forgot about that. Can she see that from where she is? She can, actually. Okay. I'll take this the cover bonus. Is beneath me. Why don't we mark it as prey? I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. I'll take the piercing shot. He's on. I will not. Oh, that's too far. Okay. To call the bold. Where's this one again? It's all right. If it serves your cause, I deal death nice. with my hands. One hit kill. She comes to like here. She probably get Just quite a good line of sight on those other two. She can do anything right now. Oh no, she can actually. Tell you what, if she marks one of these guys as prey, why doesn't she do a claim the bounty on him? I understand your intent. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Uh, <laughs> now she's got another shot. I think we're just. If it serves your cause. Not bad. Three kills in one turn. Can't argue with that. Is how much of this stuff have we got? Probably just this guy. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, not much else going on. I guess we look for the exit. True power. Right, how do we get out of here? Trembles beneath my feet. There we go. That was quite fun. I do enjoy the combat a lot. So, you know, taking it down to like an orange route as opposed to a yellow or a green, it's not as time consuming, I suppose, is the thing. You know, it takes a bit extra to get around the map. But I, if you enjoy the combat, and I do, it's uh, yeah, that's fine. How are our colonies doing? Oh, we've got some stuff going on here. I've got that. Um, can we go on and do this one? Uh, yeah, okay. Get okay, Arbitrator Solomon Veer's armor. 85% armor. Well, wow. okay. Uh, bit long Flogiston for that one. Righteous Charge. Yeah. All non-Xenos allies gain a plus five bonus to all their characteristics and skills. That's kind of... Hmm, kind of like the sound of the armor, though. Um, anyway. Chiava Gamma. Why don't we... We run out of projects. Liquid Flame. Genus. aren't working now. <laughs> it's starting to creak at the... Ooh. Let's 
No, we don't heal in combat, so that's a bit pointless. 12% dodge against Xenos. Yeah, watch it from above. It's a sword. 25% bonus to dodge and a 25% bonus to parry. It's a little bit underwhelming considering his other one, Abelard. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't fill me with glee. I mean, that one, yeah. I mean, we're going to fight, be fighting a lot of Xenos. It would probably be that one. Okay, why don't we do a top level one? Okay, yes. Can we do a project? They all need the Bastion. So, throw traders receive some of the best munitions, blah, blah, blah. Two plates, plus two plating to all of the sectors. I mean, that's just not bad, is it? Losing five uh, profit factor, I'm not thrilled about. Just lost ten there, for some reason. Is that already built? Feels like it is. Okay, yeah, well, what have we got here, then? we got light armor, 50%. If the wearer hasn't moved, cover efficiency has increased. If the wearer moves at least three cells per turn, they gain 20% dodge. That's pretty nice. More loss of profit factor. Library. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I think that one, because the Caspala Commission one, is the one I'm trying to get all the rep with to get the... Uh, um the advanced bolter, so I think that's definitely the one I shall do. I mean, that sounds amazing for uh, Argenta as well. I mean, sure, that's okay. That's pretty nice, but it's got to be this. It's got to be the rep. So I want that advanced bolter. I don't know why these things are immediately building. Uh, Crucible's Great Sculpt. Lord Captain, the Crucible's Great Sculpting is underway. Foulstone is being transformed right before our eyes into a fertile world with lush groves and clean water. However, there is evidence that the Crucible has also created humans. From the mouth of the relic came several thousand people who, speaking an archaic form of low Gothic, demanded to be given orders. They cultivate land, build houses and production facilities with obedience, and in general have a remarkable range of skills and knowledge. However, it seems these people completely lack their own free will, and for this the monks have named them touched. There is a split among the believers, though many call it a miracle sent by the Emperor himself and want to quickly put the touch to work. A part of the population is frightened by the soulless creatures. They demand that the planet's learned men intervene in the great sculpting and find a way to stop the production of the touched. Whatever the advisors think. They were born by the relic of St. Cognatius, which means they please the Emperor. We have to remind people of it. Arrange a public ceremony of Tonsia to initiate the touched into the Order of the Hammer, and a service dedicated to reading parables about the acts of St. Cognatius and his followers. Why don't you make the first move and assemble a mighty force from these touched ones? If they are so obedient and diligent, then they will make fine troops. Assign a loyal commander to each squad to keep an eye on them, and these strange people will turn from a threat into mighty defenders of the Imperium. Lack of will, registering a high probability of manufacturing failure within the Crucible's sacred processes. It is recommended to dispose of the finished batch of units and hold production of new ones. The algorithm of the Great Sculpting requires further examination. So with Argenta, we get a couple of buffs. Uh, with Ulfa, we get Crucible Born Tempest. Long range dorsal plasma macro cannons fire two shots, doing 26 damage per shot. That could be pretty nice, actually. Or this one? No, that's not very good. Yeah, I'm going to listen to Ulfar on this. I like the sound of that cannon. But do big lord commanders, though, to be ready to die for your calls, Edvata. 
The touch did not resist their newfound fate, nor any other order for that matter. They were not particularly skilled at warfare, but soon they were obedient and dutiful, and most importantly, indifferent to their own deaths. Soon the first regiments were taken to orbit on void ships and dispatched to other areas of the Protectorate, as well as to the Rogue Trader's own flagship. Okay. So I think because I filled up all the slots, I can't do a... Or can I? Can. It's pretty nice. What am I waiting for for that? For some Flogiston. Okay, tell you what, I'll wait for the Flogiston. Uh, they are actually building that one. Likewise that one. Dargonus. Dargonus cries for help, Lord Captain. Riots over the interpretation of scripture have broken out in several hives across the world. While hunting for the agents of the cult of the final dawn, the Ecclesiarchy began reigning in the minor cults, attempting to force upon them the correct adherence to the creed. The commoners whisper of oppression of the minor cults, even daring to claim that the holy pastors have assumed the sole right to speak for the god emperor. The Brigadier clan, around which the disgruntled commoners have coalesced, are rallying crowds of workers in the streets to prevent, order to prevent the Ecclesiarchy agents from entering the sanctuaries condemned for dissolution. The enforcers and the agents of the Ecclesiarchy have been able to curb the rebels so far, but diversion grow, division grows wider by the day. Alright, advisors. Small deviances in the creed give birth to large ones, and the large ones to heresy. The basis of our beliefs lies in the absolute trust of those above us, and if their beliefs push them towards revolt, that means that these tenants have been wicked from the very beginning. But it does not make the priests wicked, they could simply have been misguided. Pass them into the Ecclesiarchy's care for re-education so that they may see the truth and guarantee their flock's obedience. Ah, oh, Shireen, perhaps you should stop allowing the fat cardinals and their servants to do what they want to your people. Rein them in. The faith in the exalted one is not contained within the ranks and titles, but within the hearts and hands of the common people. And even this can take many forms as well. Let those who shoulder the welfare of Dargonus to at least choose in which manner they pray to him. Take the minor cults under your protection. Okay, what do we get here? Oh, the Drusians. Bit of rep there would not would be quite nice. They've got something I'm after as well. Mm, I mean, that's by the by. Can't see myself using it. One more Fellowship of the Void rep. I am working towards the Drusians rep so as well, so I'm going to take that. Good. The hostages will keep their flock from making rash decisions. The enforcers firmly dispersed the crowds with shock batons and choke gas. They burst into the chapels of the condemned cults, beat the acolytes, smashed any sacred symbols deemed unorthodox, and smothered the dangerous embers of spiritual disunion looming over the planet. The relics that were not an affront to the god emperor were confiscated. The disobedient pastors were shackled and brought into the sanctuaries of the ecclesiarchy to learn the true meaning of the creed, through humility and obedience. Their flock, intimidated by unspoken threats of violent reprisals against their spiritual leaders, have since calmed down. Oh. Right. Terrible news from Dargonus, your ladyship. Your vigilant servants have discovered an abscess of treachery on our capital world, one that has grown far too large and could rupture at any moment. The informants report that the group known as the Brigadier Clan is actually a cover for a horrendous cult of genetic degenerates, who currently have their people in every echelon of the Hive. They are traitors to the purity of humanity, traitors to the creed, rebels, and heretics all. Uh... What is this mutant plague that's affected our capital? A horrendous distortion of the human image. It seems that they spread their poison by biting and enslaving the victims. Some of them are indistinguishable from normal humans, while others are disgustingly ugly. The heretics hide them away from prying eyes. They seem to be connected by a common consciousness and are absolutely loyal to the despicable cult. The astropathic choir master of Dargonus has suggested that the cult may be behind the extermination of the psychers on the planet. He can sense the ghost of a powerful consciousness of some sort. The astropaths that we are forced to serve on Dargonus are afraid. They do not wish to become a living shield if the enemy launches another sire assault at us. I'm afraid that this line in our defense is quite fragile. Heinrichs, what are those mutants? Ooh. They are called gene stealers, and they are not simple mutants. They are a Xenos plague that breeds inside the human brain, forever distorting their genetic makeup and enslaving them to the brood. This is much more threatening than the, than the Jukari threat that fleet that ravaged the capital earlier. 
If they are on Dargonus, then they will try to overtake the entire planet sooner or later. The messengers of the Great Devourer, my race can sense the shapeshifters, but you should stay vigilant, Elantak. For a race with such a weak psyche as the Monkey, their appearance can prove deadly. Uh, well, I guess we have to act. Absolutely right. Is it impossible to negotiate with the degenerates? Our only option is to completely annihilate them. We should start from the top. Should we attack decisively and quickly, or should we expose ourselves by bringing our heavy weapons into the capital to gain an advantage in firepower, to quietly eliminate their leaders, or to hit the infected territory and cleanse them of traitors? Dali von Berinicus, raise the people to battle and publicly proclaim war. Tell the people that the heretics are hiding among them, and the millions of loyal subjects will grind the thousands of traitors to dust. May Dargonus cleanse itself of this filth. The caustic laugh of the Xenos sends shivers down your spine. <laughs> Let others sully their hands. Just one beacon and my kinsmen will crash down upon the affected hives. Perhaps they may cause some additional casualties here and there. But have no doubt, none of your enemies will survive, even hiding in their little nests. The cleansing should be thorough. Ever since the Xenos scum attacked your world, the wrecks of town ships float everywhere in orbit. Connect them with your ships and send them flying towards the nests of this spawn trying to encroach on your domain. Since all of them are linked by a common will, we could start by launching our attack there. If the astropathic choir could drown out the voice of the brood, we would be able to launch a sudden strike and act quickly enough before the enemy would be able to restore cohesion and for inform each other of the assault. Okay, these are tough checks. 57, 20, 57, 95... All right, let's go with that. All fast plan. Crush the infected sectors from orbit. Ah, now I would enjoy seeing the carcasses of the spacecraft burn in the atmosphere and come crashing down on the heads of these miserable heretics. The wreckages of the downed ships had come crashing down in great flames. An impressive demonstration of the strength and power of the rogue trader who turned the sky itself against her enemies. Sadly, the plague and reach of the Brigadier Clan had spread far and wide, multiplying the death toll. Raging fires incinerated the shrines of the heretics, and the enforcers, following behind the searing wall, finished the job in a quick and bloody fashion. What's this? Got a tainted phylactery. Well, only one thing made the rogue trader's servants feel a sense of unease. Inside the cult's main temple, they found a hatchery for some grotesquely enormous monster. It was empty. They did not find the beast. If the emperor had been merciful to Dargonus, then the monster had perished in the fires that had engulfed the hives during that cycle. Ooh, very nice for Argenta, that is. Can I make more? Yeah, I don't think so. But we got the Caspalica rep. So I've got two slots here. So I could put the uh, that one, or we can have a look. Palaces for the Outcasts. Ten intelligence, fellowship, and willpower. Well, that seems pretty nice. And seven profit factor. Uh, whenever the wearer performs a non-burst attack with a pistol blare. No thanks. Or this one, mastercrafted power claim or blip. No thanks. So we'll definitely do this one. Thank you very much. Uh, so Dargonis is done. Janus we're working on, Kelva Gamma we're working on, and Falstone is basically done. If we can, we want to wait for that one. So we need a Flogiston. Actually, we need four Flogiston. Okay. Tell you what, I'm going to go back to the bridge now, and I'm going to see if we can get the advanced bolter. Because that is going to be amazing. Basically, going to turn Argentary into even more of a death machine than she already is. And we've also probably got a fair bit of cargo we can top up with if need be. But twenty thousand rep is plus. I think I got an additional five, didn't I? I think I might have got twenty-five thousand rep with them through all that colony stuff, uh, which hopefully is enough to get our hands on that bolter. Let's go and check with Janris. Where are we at? Red. Hmm, that's not going to be enough.
Was it the Casbelica? Oh no, that's the Casbelica. That's Vladame. Oh no. Well, I've probably got some stuff here then. Damn it. I'll buy this stuff. I'll just I'll I'll check it out at a later date. Uh Where gains an additional number of attacks equal to their psi rating. So I'd get six extra attacks. It'd be worth considering that. Um I don't really want to move any further up this tree, to be quite honest, because he hasn't really got anything at the top end that I'm that fond of. Drusians, however, I got some rep with as well. I, I mean, I'd love to get up to the top end and... Uh, I forget what it was now. I'm sure there was something here. It might have been, the, it might have been that. But I doubt I'm going to get up that high. But we have got some stuff here. We've got a melter gun... I'm just going to click on all this. I'm just going to take all this stuff. I'll sort through it later. This stuff is getting extremely unwieldy. <laughs> uh, but look at the Explorators. I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't updated them for a while. I'm not too fussed about that right now. I mean, we might be able to get some more rep here. So now I can get... Uh, 12 points of damage on the port and starboard and 5 points... Oh, no, that, well, yeah, that, I mean, that's a straight upgrade to what I've got now. And this is... Uh, oh, yeah, quite a big increase to our... Um, not, it's only medium range, though. But it has a wider firing arc and does more damage. So, yeah, I'll take that. Um, okay, let's go back to RZA, then. So we're going to want to... Okay, we've come up a bit. We're slowly getting there. But we have still quite a bit to do. Um, this cultist armor. Uh, this heretical zealot. Ugh, okay. Reroll the parry test. That's interesting. It would potentially be quite good for Abelard. Because every time he parries, he counters. Warp. Take that. And what's this? Whenever the wearer uses slash down, can they go? Okay, that's another thing that's potentially useful. I'm going to have to have a look at it. Not got anything else there at the moment. There's probably quite a lot of this stuff, and I'll go through my vault as well off camera, and I might be able to chuck into um, cargo and then maybe trade with them again. But I'm probably going to have to get it up quite a bit higher the rep there. Uh, okay, well, I'll tell you what, it's probably dragged on a little bit this episode, so I'm going to leave it there for now. When we come back, um, I'll spend I'll, before I start filming the next one. I'm going to I'll spend a bit of time. Um, going through my inventory and stuff. It's getting a bit unwieldy. Try and try and get some more optimised loadouts perhaps on, on people. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll carry on, carry on, carrying on. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be fantastic. If you could leave a comment, let me know what you think about it so far. That would also be very much appreciated. As would uh, subscribe to the channel if you're watching this and haven't done so before. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.